this is Bean, and today I have a pin mail video for you. First things first, I got a limited edition Amazon exclusive Mandalorian pin set that I pre-ordered on Amazon like a month ago. First it says 7,285 of 10,000. It is this box pin set with six pins of Baby Yoda. The first is Baby Yoda sleeping in this little egg floaty pram. The second one is my favorite scene when he's touching the buttons. The third is him swallowing a frog. The fourth one is him using the force. The fifth one is him sipping the little soup out of the cup. And the sixth one is my favorite pin in the set. It is Baby Yoda grabbing the little joystick ball. That's his little toy. It looks like they are soft enamel pins, not hard enamel. And if you can tell, the only difference between these and Disney Parks pins is that this kind of has that like paint dip that would usually be associated with scrapper or fake pins, but these are authentic. It's just that they have a different style. So next, I have one trade that I made with Colleen from Indiana. And I have more trades coming in the mail, it's just that they're not here yet. And I just figured I would throw this one in this video and I'll make a different video with my other trades that I get. So right away when I look into the package, we have this gorgeous rainbowish hollow envelope with a little hollow card that says thank you. And on the inside it says Aaliyah, thank you so much for the trade. I hope you enjoy your Winnie the Pooh pin, Colleen. So that gives you a hint at what kind of pin I got in my trade. And I'm pretty sure I traded with her for one of my duplicate box lunch princess dress pins that I showed off in my previous one of my previous videos. So that is what I did. Now I got two zaps or freebies. First I got this pink and black sticker of Ariel and it's got her name on it really cute and then the second one I got it says the little mermaid and it's got Ariel and flounder with some fish and like kind of the sun detail in the background and those are my freebies two die cut stickers now I have a question for my viewers before I show the pin these like really cool die cut stickers I get these a lot in trades does anybody know where you get these stickers? Is it from Etsy or from somebody's Instagram shop? Because I get these a lot in trades and I really like them and I think the art's really cool but I don't know who does this or where you get them. So if you know where to get these really cool die cut stickers, leave that down in my comments below so that I can see and figure that out for myself so I can go buy some. So now let's get to the actual pin. Before I open it, I want to show you they used cute little donut tape. I like that a lot. And it looks like this pin is wrapped in tissue paper, and that's one of the various methods that I've seen for, you know, packaging up a pin so that it arrives safely. Alright, now we'll get to the actual pin. It is... Winnie the Pooh in his pajamas reading a book from the Box Lunch Mystery Pin Box. This is the last pin that I need besides Tigger to complete the set, which, update, I have a Tigger coming in the mail from a trade, so thank you for that, Colleen. You're helping me complete the set. And last but not least, we have this purple bubble mailer stuffed to the very top with pins from the Disney Chris live sale 
Uh, they do live sales like once every other week. And this is a giant haul, which was a combination of two live sales two weeks ago. One was the seven and ten dollars, and then one was their normal live sale. If you are interested in them, they also do fantasy pins, which I'd done a previous video on. I will link that video down below, and I will also link their Instagram down below. Um, they're my favorite fantasy pin makers and my favorite Instagram live sale people to watch and partake in. I get more in depth than to why I like them in one of my previous videos, so you can check that out. So the first pin that we got was the 2019 Egg Stravaganza Winnie the Pooh and Friends pin. They are all eggs. And it looks like they are eggs that are also bug themed. This is from Disneyland Hong Kong. So that's really cute. And I also just noticed that it's got a really cool blue glittery background in it, which is really pretty. Um, sparkles like that is like a staple of Hong Kong pins, which I really love. So the second pin is... Another pin that I needed from this set, I got two of these pins from another Disney Chris live sale. It is the Disneyland Paris, the Christmas Advent Calendar Ornament Pins, and this one's Tigger. So in the previous live sale video, we bought the Pooh and the Piglet, and now we got Tigger, but unfortunately we still don't have the Eeyore one, so my set is not complete yet. This next pin that we got is a... 2015 D23 limited edition 300 short films pin from 2010's short film TikTok Tale. And it's just got a gold frame and it says TikTok Tale 2010 and then it's got the main character, the little clock. And this pin actually is my boyfriend's pin that he claimed because he loves this short film and it makes him cry. Anyways, next... I got this snow white watercolor pin with a silver frame and this is you're gonna see that this style of pin is a trend in this video because I have multiple different ones but I really like this series and I'm trying to get the whole set the only one that I don't have is the Rapunzel one so keep a heads up I get the rest of them in this video so the next pin that we got is from the Magical Musical Moments. It is a pin of the Heffalumps and Woozles song. So if you can see, it's got a polka dot woozle, the striped Heffalump with the hat, and then Pooh trying to protect his honey from the Heffalumps and Woozles. And then it's got on the bottom like a little dangly piece that says Heffalumps and Woozles and it's got little music notes. Look at the dangle. So this was really cute. Huh. I, I know we have like at least one of the pins from the Magical Musical Moment series but I'll have to look into more of these because I really like this. And on the back there's already one that I see that I want. It's a... Magical musical moment of the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo song from Cinderella, which is one of my favorite movies, so I'll have to look for that. In the next little package, we've got a set of two pins, which I'm pretty sure these were the very last pins that I claimed at the end of the live sale. Wow, these are big. Story behind this, it is a... 2005 Walt Disney World pin with Chip and Dale. So here's the other one with Tinkerbell. It says 2005 Walt Disney World and it's got Tinkerbell on it. And the back says where well, the party never ends. So I got this pin set because, fun fact, in 2005 I was seven years old and that this was the year that we went to Disney for the second time. And I have a photo album with photos from the trip, and the photo album is the same styling, like the blue lines and these letters and everything, as the pins. So I got these to commemorate my second trip to Disney. Now all I need is a pin from 
2001, a pin from 2010, 2012, and then I'll have commemorating pins for all of my trips. Because fun fact, when I went on those trips, I wasn't a pin collector yet, so I didn't get pins commemorating my trip. So now it's like I gotta backtrack and find pins commemorating those trips. Okay, this is also another two pin set. So this first pin, it looks like a shield and it's got Ariel with a shell on it. Nothing too special, it looks like it's just an open edition pin. I'm pretty sure, but I just wanted this for my Ariel collection. Now the second one is another pin. It's got Ariel and Flounder and it looks like they're swimming out of her treasure cavern. And correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think this might be the pin from the Disney Attractions blind box. I'm not sure, but I know that a pin that looks like this was from the Disney Attractions blind box. If that is the case and this is from the Disney Attractions blind box, that's great because then that means that I don't have to buy the blind box. That's the only pin that I wanted from that. Alright, the next thing in here is three little guys, little minis. They are for one of our main collections. So this one is a mini of Pooh with his big belly sticking out so cute and then you can't have Pooh without his BFF tiny little mini piglet he's so cute he's literally like the size of my thumbnail that's so cute I love him so much now if you can tell my boyfriend collects Pooh and I collect Piglet because those are our favorite characters. So now this one is just a little tiny yellow diamond with Piglet and flowers. And oh my god, I just realized something. So, spoiler alert, sorry Patrick behind the camera, this is a spoiler alert. I just ordered this today for his birthday because it comes with one that has poo exactly like this. And I didn't think that we had this, but now that I'm seeing it, we have it, so I'll give him the poo one for his birthday, I guess, and then trade the other piglet one that I get. But these are uh, pins from a Hallmark card, and I actually just ordered them because they were on sale on eBay. So, whoops. That's, at least that's how I feel. Alright, so this next pin is another pin from the watercolor set. It's got a gold, like, carriage-shaped frame with the watercolor Cinderella inside. And there's some pinkish, purplish flowers in the background. And I think this is so beautiful. I love these pins so much. And... I know this probably isn't real metal, but it feels heavy. The next pin is a Japan Disney Store 2017 Girly Pins Ariel. And she's in a shell with stars, and it's got her name and a cute girly, I guess, design, which probably, hence the name Girly Pins, is probably the collection that they did with more, like, girly imagery, I'm guessing. But I, again, I had to have this pin because I just love the aesthetic of it, the pastels, the beautiful artwork. That's, this is something that's like perfectly up my alley. I just love stuff like that. Next is another pin for my boyfriend. It is a December 2002 Santa Poo pin. And... This was one where we were on the live sale, and I was like, do you want this? Are you sure? You can claim it if you want it. And then it took him a while, and it took him a while, and it just sat there on the board and sat there, and then after a while he was like, okay, I want it. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. I feel like that's how live sales go for us. That happens all the time. Now this pin's interesting. This one's kind of bent. Eh, well, that's fine. It is a stocking that says... Happy Holidays, and it's got Pooh and Eeyore and Tigger and Piglet on it. 
That's very cute. Another Christmas pin for our Christmas collection. This is from 2006. See, but I don't know if you can tell. Here, let me show you on this side. This pin is like bent at an angle like that. I wonder why. I wonder what happened. I don't know. It's an old pin though, so that makes sense. Alright, the last pin in this bundle is from the Shanghai Disney Resort Grand Opening Collection. And it is a green Mickey Mouse with gems, and it's got Tigger on it. And then it's got a yellow glittery Shanghai castle. This is really beautiful, because it's so glittery, and I've never really seen gems like that on a pin. So that's really gorgeous. I like that. And it's a big size pin, too. I'm pretty sure we got that for, like, $7, so... So this next pin is another one from the watercolor set. It has got a gold frame with a rose and a heart, and it's got watercolored Belle who is smelling a rose. Again, really gorgeous. I love this set so much. It's so pretty. Alright. This next pin, I'm sure, was probably the most expensive pin that I bought from the sale. So this is a limited edition of 250 from the Disney Fairy Tales event that happened last year, which unfortunately we didn't go to because we weren't really pin collectors yet. But this is Flotsam and Jetsam. And if you can see, it's kind of got like, it looks like they're like um, inside of a dog collar. And then it says Flotsam and Jetsam on this dangly little dog tag to put on your collar so I'm assuming I think this might have been part of like the Disney pets thing that they did for fairy tales because I um in the live sale there was other like Disney pets that had little name tags and like a collar around it but I just think this one's really cute um we would have had the Percy one from Pocahontas but somebody beat us to that one so I didn't get the Percy which hmm, I'm sad about. I love Percy. This next one is another one of Patrick's pins. It is Sorcerer Mickey from Fantasia. And he's got like a dangly thing that looks like his hat. And it's got a little bottle with blue glitter and like a cork stopper. And I've seen this a lot of places, but we haven't bought it yet, and we just took the plunge and finally bought it. Because it's really cool, but we never have picked it up. So this next one is from the Disney Zodiac Mystery Box Collection, and this is Piglet. So this one's really cool because it's got um, kind of a red, translucent, metallic-y background. But I think Piglet's so cute in this pin. Who am I kidding? He's cute in every pin. So we still have, it looks like we have five bundles left. <laughs> and just if you're wondering, we got 34 pins. I'm saying that quietly because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> That we got 34 pins in that sale. We have yet another watercolor pin. This one has a silver frame again with my favorite princess Ariel holding a shell. This one's my favorite pin out of the watercolor series obviously because it's Ariel and I love her. I don't know why I kissed it. I'm tired, it's fine. So, okay, these next two pins were pins that I really, really, really wanted. And we saw them in the glimpses for what they were going to have in the live sale that day. And I wanted them so bad, and I really hoped that I would get them, and I did. So this first pin is from Fantasia 2000, and it's got a water reflection and the little butterflies from the beginning of the movie so this one's really gorgeous aesthetically and i love that i love the stars in that pin it's really pretty 
But that pin wasn't the reason why I wanted that set. The reason why I wanted it was because it has my favorite, favorite character from Fantasia 2000. It is the little baby whale from the, I think the segment is called The Pines of Rome. But, oh my god, I literally just saw this. So, funny story. I watched this for like 10 minutes once when I was a kid at my grandparents' house and I fell asleep because I thought it was boring. But then, I recently watched this like a few weeks ago and I became obsessed because it's so cute and the imagery with the songs are beautiful and to be honest, it made me cry because it was so gorgeous. But, enough embarrassing myself for today. I already did it twice. But I just love that pin. It has a cute little baby whale on it, and it's so cute. And I am so happy that I got it. Alright, so this next pin is... I think it's the first pin that I got in the live sale. It's from Disneyland Paris. It's a Halloween pin. It is Piglet inside of a pumpkin holding some candy. And... One, I got it because it's Piglet, and two, I got it because it's Halloween, and three, I got it because it's so cute. Like, you can't go wrong with Piglet ever, I feel like. It's just, oh, he's just so tiny and cute, and I love him, and he makes me cry every time. Like, when I watch Piglet's big movie, I cry every single time. We got this other pin that I've secretly been wanting for a while, ever since I saw it in a Disney Kitty video. It is a red Mickey shaped ornament with Mickey dressed as Santa and it says the holidays are swell. And the back is red glitter and it's got a little ornament string. Next we've got another watercolor princess. This one has another silver frame and it's got Princess Aurora or Sleeping Beauty on it and she's in the watercolor style as well. It's very pretty. Next, big surprise, we got another piglet pin. It is a bottle cap and it says Piglet's Cherry Cola. And it's got Piglet on it. And next to Piglet it says Walt Disney World. And I just saw also that this is a whole entire set, so... Of Winnie the Pooh characters. So that's gonna be something that we're on the hunt for. Alright, this next one is... It's from, I can't read, it's limited edition 500, I'm pretty sure this is from the Disney subscription box park pack, which they don't do anymore, but it is pin on pin, it is Ariel and Flounder, and she's holding her dingle hopper, and they're inside her cavern of human treasures, and this is just really gorgeous and I love it and it's gonna fit perfectly in my aerial collection okay these next three pins are on the same card and technically these aren't my pins either these are my boyfriend's pins that he chose for himself so I don't know why he's not showing them so this first pin is Mickey with a baton is a band leader or band, yeah, band leader, I guess. I don't know. But that's the theme of this three pin set that he got. The second one is Mickey as an actual band leader with a trombone and a drum in the background. And then the last one that he chose, which technically came on the same card as the other two, was this Mickey band leader with a film strip and it says 1955. Because in the live sale, um, technically no, it wasn't their live sale, it was somebody else's live sale. But they, I do a lot of live sales. Anyways, but they had um, other Mickey Mouse ones like that with different years on it. Let's see, we've got two pins left. The second to last pin is a newer pin. It's got Pooh holding a honey pot and he is hanging on to this 3D rubber blue Mickey balloon. I'm pretty sure this came out 
in 2019 maybe because this is something that I still see in the parks on people's YouTube videos so this seems fairly recent um so this last one is also for my boyfriend he got so many pins why do I feel like all these pins are for him all the poo ones okay well first of all let me just do a sidebar because I'm distracted by the back this is also from the Magical Musical Moments, and I now also want the Sorcerer's Apprentice one and the Part of Your World one. I didn't know they had that. But this one is the Rumbly in My Tumbly Magical Musical Moment, and it is of Pooh sitting at his kitchen table surrounded by honey pots eating honey and then it says rumbly in my tumbly and it has the music notes around it so this is like of course right up his alley i just wish that they had a pin that had the what is it the line from his up down touch the ground in the mood for food i feel like i talk about that in every video <laughs> in the mood for food but I've never seen it in the mood for food pin, so that leads me to think, hmm, do I have to start creating my own fantasy pins? Because I will make one that's got him on it and says in the mood for food. I actually have some other ideas for fantasy pins to make, so that might be a future endeavor. Like, ten years from now, maybe, if I could ever find an artist to do my drawings and a an animal pin maker to make the pins then we'll be in business but until then i'll just keep the ideas in my brain so that nobody copies them but okay that's the end of our gigantic pin haul pin mail video and on that note bean what do we say have a magical day everyone goodbye